What's up guys? So today is day six of Vlog Sember and um, you guys told me that if I'm not doing anything during the day I should you know bring up little topics to talk to you guys about so on snapchat I did ask you know what I should talk about long distance relationships fake friends versus real friends um, stuff like that and most people picked to talk about long distance relationships and like how to make it work so that's what we're gonna be talking about today today is just a chill day me chilling but before that like I'm I'm just really like frustrated upset there's a lot going on right now in my life like that I'm just like like it's actually making me kind of depressed and kind of like just not in a good space I can talk about that maybe in a future video I'm not really the one to share my personal business like that um, too much on the internet because I don't know that's just not I don't know if it's not me it's just like I don't like people you know judging me or you know thinking they know too much about my life and you know trying to just put their their negative vibes out there you know what I mean so I'm very weary on sharing a lot of information like that online anyways I digress my camera my vlogging camera I was about to record on this camera right now I'm using my phone and it's been working perfectly fine up till today I'm like the devil is trying me like I don't understand so pretty much like my camera is broken luckily I do have a warranty but every time I turn it on turn it off the the lens part right here will go in and out and it will show the Canon sign but then it will just turn black and it doesn't go back in or anything like how the hell am I supposed to vlog now how the how I do have a Sony a6000 camera but I actually hate that camera <laughs> Um, so I don't know I have a warranty but I bought this camera in the States so I don't know that I don't know if I have to wait until I go to the States to get the warranty on here or if it does it like worldwide I'm gonna have to call and see because I'm so mad like uh, like I swear when it comes to me and cameras it just never works out like I'm always breaking a camera losing a camera somebody stealing a camera like it just never ends oh. let's get on to how I make or how we, me and TG, make our long distance relationship work and what I think is important um, in a long distance relationship. So this is gonna be in no order whatsoever. I'm just gonna go off the dome, whatever thoughts come to my mind. Um, yeah, and I'm wearing this on my head because I'm blocking you know, my hair right now. It's not looking too cute. And I bought a few of these because I'm going to Blue Mountain Friday. So number one, will be both people have to be committed they have to be putting in that effort and both people really just have to want it there can't be one person who's like i want this we're gonna make it work blah 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 because you're gonna be putting on in all the work and you're not gonna get what you want out of it you're gonna get burnt out you're gonna get stressed you might get depressed you might just be like like what's going on like why isn't he or why isn't she putting in the same effort as me and that is definitely not good on a relationship at all at all at all at all so yeah <laughs> both people have to want to be in the relationship want to have this long distance relationship um they have to be putting in the effort both people have to be putting in you know 100 percent effort so for me at first when i was in the relationship i, I wasn't giving my all i can admit that he was giving 110 percent, and me i was just like mm, i don't know yet <laughs> because there are certain things going on in my life and then on top of that I wasn't really sure how everything was going to play out because it's my first time being in a long distance relationship and you just really never know. And I didn't want to like give my all and then end up getting hurt. Like I wasn't, I didn't have any trust issues like, oh my God, you're going to cheat on me and cheat on me because I knew like he really, really cared about me. But it's just, I don't know what was going on with me. I just wasn't giving it my all. But now we both are 100% giving it our all and we both are very confident in this relationship and we think we know that it's gonna work out all right so number two is very cliche you guys can probably guess what it is it starts with the letter C and it is communication so communication is key to life and it's key to any successful relationship you always have to keep those communication lines open 
no matter how hard it may be no matter how closed off you might be like me I'm a very closed off person I don't really share a lot with people in general so you know it's kind of hard for me but I try I try I try I could do better but I try he's always communicating with me um, always telling me what's good what's up if there's arguments he's always wanting to like nip it in the butt me on the other hand like I like to wait I like to chill out and then I like to talk about it so yeah it's like when you're in a long-distance relationship you're texting a lot you're sending emojis you know snapchats um, doing all these things where your your thoughts or what you're actually saying can get lost in translation because you know when you're texting something you put an exclamation mark you're talking in caps or something the person could be like like what the hell is going on like what's good but it's really not even the case like maybe you just put the caps on by accident and you're like I'm too lazy to start it all over you know so keeping those communication lines open is very important you got to express how you're feeling to the other person if they're doing certain things that you're not really liking you got to speak up about it and vice versa um, you know tell them the things that you do like um, yeah just it's, it's very basic but it's very hard for a lot of people to do just communicate all the time be as open as possible share your feelings share anything and everything that is on your mind about the relationship of course um, or just about in life in general so number three okay this is one that I think is super super important and it's setting goals as a couple um, you know thinking down the line seeing your future together you know kind of planning that out I think that's super important because when you're in a long-distance relationship you're spending a lot of money going back and forth hotels if you're getting one um, just doing those things can cost a lot of money and it really add up and you do not want to be wasting your time at all at all of course you don't want to waste your time in any relationship but when you're putting in a lot of money into the relationship and a lot of time even if you're taking off work um, skipping up time from seeing your family stuff like that you got to take all that into consideration and you don't want to F around with that okay so before I really got into the relationship I kind of made it known what I was looking for and what I wanted out of the relationship I'm like there's no way that I'm gonna be in this long distance relationship and you know there's no goal of getting married at the end of it and in a certain honestly in a certain amount of time because you don't want to be in the longest relationship for like 10 years and you know you're still doing that back and forth thing like your boyfriend and girlfriend no 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 that's a waste of time so we didn't really put a date on when it would happen but we kind of did we kind of did it um it's <laughs> i don't really want to talk about it because you know i don't want to jinx it or anything Woo, my lights so yeah, definitely making sure that you're on the same page about your future is important. And you can see this by the way he talks or by the way she talks. If he's making plans or he's thinking about his future and he includes you in the future with him or with her, that is super important. So, you know, we talked about marriage. It's something we both want. We we're gonna do <laughs> and we want kids and we want to move together and we want that little family. So. You know when you when you hear somebody say like you know we're doing this for us 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 that is a sign that is very very important okay if somebody's just saying I I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I can't wait till I do this that is a running sign <laughs> so yeah just being very open about what you want is important because say if you want to get married but you haven't really mentioned it you guys didn't really talk about it and he didn't want to get married but you do and you guys just are living life day to day spending a lot of money going back and forth to see each other and then you come to find that he doesn't even want to get married that's gonna be a heartbreaker what are you gonna do then what what are you gonna do especially me and TG we live in two different countries so that's really the only way possible it's gonna happen and I actually got an email the other day from another girl and I felt so terrible for her because she's been in a relationship I think it was about two years she lives in the UK and he lives in America and she they want to move in with each other uh, but she was like she was she talked to him about marriage and was like do you want to like do you, do you want to get married and he was like mm, marriage is my last option and she was like i felt hurt because you know that's that's my man he wants me to move there he wants we want to live together so i don't get why is marriage my why is marriage the last option and she was like you know now i have to get this work visa 
and then I only could stay there for two years and have to go back to my country and I was just like if I didn't get to answer her yet but hopefully she watches this but it's like if he really really cared about you like that why would he want you to get that work visa when you would have to go back for two years like why when he just get married to you I even told TG the story and he said the same thing he's like why wouldn't he just marry her so girl I don't know that's that's a bad situation it's a sad situation and that's why I think it's very important to talk about that stuff up front no matter how much people say you know don't talk about this stuff um, right away it might scare them off no talk about it talk about it so number four keeping God a part of your relationship is very important especially well if you believe in God first of all um, but me and TG we pretty much got together because we believed in the same thing so yeah that's what ultimately brought us together and you know so he would just send me like he used to send me bible scriptures every morning and you know just talking about the bible talking about scriptures and um praying together all of that it just i think it brings it brings you closer together makes you stronger as a couple and it really gives you that faith that faith <laughs> that faith um that you need and that strength sorry that someone was there because you know it's hard it's hard being away from somebody that you really care about and that you actually love so you know getting into your bible um scriptures praying and all that stuff it really just uplifts you and then it just puts so much strength in you it's like okay i only have a few more days a few more months and i get to see you I get to see you okay so um i think yeah that is that's very important and it's like if that's what brought us together why not just keep it going so number five, I think making sure that you include each other into each other's lives. You integrate each other into each other's lives. Is that what I want to say? Something like that. Of course, if you're long distance, you're living hours apart, um, thousands of miles apart, whatever the case may be. Try to integrate the person into your life as much as possible. Whether it's like, you know, FaceTiming and you're like talking to their family or... Um, showing them like around your workspace your job or talking to co-work and stuff like that that's what we do and I think it's helpful so it's like you know you're not you're not just living your own life separately you're kind of allowing me to join that life with you so you know when I'm editing my videos and stuff I'll be like yeah babe do you like this do you like this he'll talk to my friends like Munchie and Shante sometimes my sisters um, and I'll talk to some of his co-workers and um, he'll show me around his office and just really making sure that you know you're including each other into each other's lives six um, making time for one another because you are two different people you are you know living two different lives so both people are usually busy and it can be even harder if you're all, all the way on the other side of the world because that time difference mm -mm, that's a killer so TG he works a lot he's into his career like crazy like sometimes he'll be doing from a 6 a.m he'll be at work from 6 a.m to like 10 p.m at night which is absolutely crazy which is 11 my time so we don't really get to talk to each other a lot so during the day like a few texts here and there he'll call me like on his breaks and stuff like that and it's like sometimes it's hard to fit in those important conversations or things that you really want to talk about um so it can be it can definitely be hard and then I feel like sometimes our schedules conflict because you know he'll be up early and then he'll be working throughout the whole entire day and then my day usually starts later because I can't work from home and then you know when he's kind of done work I'm still working so I feel like you have to make that time for one another you know just shift aside your work for a little bit you know and chat it up a little bit talk about your feelings talk about your day stuff like that um and even if you can just send like a good morning message a good morning text a good night text or a good night message um getting that facetime here and there i think that is super beneficial to any relationship so yeah this is pretty much off the dome i cannot think of anything else at the moment me and TG will probably revisit this subject and he'll give in his two cents as well. If you guys are in a long distance relationship and you have some pointers and some tips um, to how you make your relationship work, please leave some comments down below. And yeah, let's just start a conversation. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful and I hope it gave you insight to how we make things work. As you can see, I'm not really a talker like that. <laughs> I'm trying guys, 
but let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and i will do more like it i do have something that i really want to talk about and share with you guys but i'm gonna save it for later maybe the next one so yeah i'll see you guys all in the next video vlog summer day seven like he you know like how i vlog he was like vlogging and then he made like a really nice video of like all our times together and he just put like all this like r&b type music in it it was so freaking sweet you're a wonderful person i think you're beautiful i think you have the personality and match your beauty i think you're a special person so you know i actually feel corny a little bit you know and, and even making this video